So I can speak in behalf of the, the design of the thing uh, because I've been a, a, play, a key player in it from the beginning. This has really been a long time in the making. Um, it's been uh, difficult because uh, three inch tracks don't exist on snow bikes and three inch tracks that are 129 inches don't exist at all. Um, so it's taken a long time to get to this point, but um, you know, there's no doubt that the three inch track is the, the thing to have. I mean, it is the top dog the top snow bike and uh, the the 129 length um, complements the the 450 bike really well um, you know in 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 setting up the three inch you know we had to change drivers it's a three inch uh, pitch track and uh, so it has a slightly larger driver on it uh, we had to roll the chain case down and back to clear it um, but that's one of the design designs of Aero is it has a higher frame and we're able to move that drive axle down without it being too low to the ground. Um, we also lowered the, the drop bracket, so to speak. We lowered the chassis over the suspension so it doesn't sit any higher and it puts that weight more to the back. So there's some optimized geometry inside there that's key for the three inch track. Alan mentioned the drivers. This is a really, really cool driver. It functions really differently than any other driver. So normally with a, a standard driver, you're driving off the two nubs, the involute drive nubs on the center of the track and, that, and this one does as well. But we've also added offset extroverts. And they're, the, the offset feature is really cool because they're more efficient. So instead of having two drivers driving off the track and two driving off the clip all the time. That's four touching points, four friction points, less efficiency. We offset those extroverts so they don't touch unless it starts to move just a little bit, then they engage and keep you from slipping. So increased efficiency, less drag. You can run the track a little bit more loose, get a little bit more horsepower to the snow and they're ultra lightweight, completely hogged out, drilled out, really, really cool feature. All I knew was, holy crap, this thing hooks up <laughs> and I could point this thing up any slope that I wanted to and it would just kind of lift that ski that front ski off the ground and just keep chugging along it just rip up there and it doesn't feel like it's taxing the bike stock 450 here it just rips it one other thing I'll point out on that drive system so the, the drive systems really where a lot of work went into to get it to get it right um, like I said we rolled the the chain case down and back but from that we also lessened the track angle um, and from that the track is able to run looser with the extrovert drivers, um, and it, uh, you can run it looser, but with the, the less track angle, it also uh, rolls freer. Um, and that's kind of one of the things that help, helps it get power to the ground and gets more traction because of it too. And Arrow also got all of the updates we talked about with Riot. So lighter drive train, lighter drive sprockets, more compact jack shaft, um, improved brake system. Uh, somebody said, does it feel long on the way up here? No, it doesn't feel long at all. It feels, the 129 feels, feels awesome. It's the perfect length. 129 is the perfect median length. With the most traction ever. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, I'll be riding one of these next year for sure.